Suicide for celluloid. Uh, welcome to this weird subculture. I'm not really as involved in it as some people are. Um, but unfortunately, for better or for worse, the issues that are raised in this, the ontological issues, are issues that are dear to my heart. Um, so yeah, I get involved in the debates. Um, I, uh, I like the fact that uh, people are willing to go to the extreme, in my opinion, that the uh, circle of people surrounding in Mendham are willing to do. I call it a cult, and I just call it as I see it. Um, and uh, it's an interesting sort of circle of people to interact with. I tend to keep my distance, but I'm very much into the whole thing, simply because I like the fact that there are people that are willing to be that much of a devil's advocate. And they do seem to be sincere. I, for one, have gone on record many times saying that I believe that in Mendham, up to and including his pornographic and scatological insults, is completely sincere. He's even sincere when he insults you, and he's, in, he's sincere in the insults. He means what he says. Um, I, what motivates him, I don't care. I'm not interested. I'm not terribly interested in what he makes of all of this. Um, but, you know, I don't think he's interested in anybody else either. So, you know, I'm here to use him for my own purposes, which is, as I say, as a devil's advocate, as a foil, uh, just to help me, uh, I don't know, develop my own thinking. He's constantly drawing a caricature of everybody he ever comes up against, but I'm of the opinion that caricatures have their uses. Being uh, parodied, ridiculed, vilified, misrepresented, libeled, maligned, slandered, all this kind of thing, um, isn't quite as nasty as one might think, or it isn't quite as empty and useless as one might think. Um, because we all live in society, and it's useful to know what the negative opinions are of us. You want a negative opinion of yourself, you'll get it from him and the circle of people surrounding him. Uh, you want a negative opinion of anything, you'll get that from these people. Um, and the advice that I would bring to the table here, assuming that you're going to last at all long here, if you're even remotely interested, which you may very well not be. The first taste might have disgusted you to the point where you say, the hell with this. Um, keep your sense of humor. Keep to the point. Always assume that he's going to misrepresent everything that you ever say. Um, never, ever let him get under your skin. Never let him get your goat. Never let him make you angry. Not for a second. Um... And be as persistent as he is. He is maddeningly persistent and driven. I believe that he lives for YouTube, uh, which gives him an enormous advantage over other people. So I would say, um, you know, if, of course, and that's a big if, you don't walk away from this whole thing in disgust, um, know what and who you're dealing with. He's living proof that you don't need a god for there to be witch doctors. You don't need religion uh, for there to be people casting spells over you. Um, he's living proof that you can take altruism and use it as an excuse for absolutely uncompromising sadism, because that's what this cult essentially deals in, is denunciation, sadism, and um, guilt-tripping. Guilt is gigantic. Shame is huge in this cult. Um, and um, if you want to actually study those issues, and guilt in particular fascinates me, is something that is pushed beyond <laughs> the Kafka-esque sort of uh, limits. Uh, guilt is up there with the, the end is near type, Old Testament type prophet who... Uh, is convinced that this evil world will be destroyed soon and you stupid sinners are going to go down with it. And he's an atheist. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fascinating thing about it all. He's completely irrational, all in the name of reason, and he is a religious fanatic, all in the name of atheism and irreligion. Uh, he's uh, a sadistic prick, 
uh, all in the name of altruism. It's uh, it's real. It's quite a show to watch. Uh, but you got to see it for what it is, and never get sucked into the mind games. <laughs> uh, I can't emphasize that enough. A lot of people just eventually. Fuck you! <laughs> they can't take it anymore. That's human nature. Can you blame people for that? Uh, but uh, I'm one of the fortunate people that I didn't... I've never fallen for that. Um, I guess I was warned a lot when I first got involved that what I'm getting into. Plus, I have a YouTube persona, which doesn't really correspond to my actual personality in real life. Um, I, uh, I don't know, kind of a nice guy type persona, talking head sort of thing. I'm not a nice guy at all. <laughs> I've been involved in union politics for 20 years. Nice people don't last in that kind of an environment. Um, but, for the purposes of YouTube, I've got this, you know, talking head here who uh, acts a certain way. I've created a character. Sometimes that's useful. Especially when you want to get involved with people whom you utterly disagree with and who are going to attack you viciously like he will. Um, in my case, they're only attacking a persona that doesn't really exist. So have fun. Use him for your own purposes. Use the caricature that he paints of you. Use him with a clear conscience. Why not? That's exactly what he does. 